kick about and it's even easier to get away from it, it's even easier just to keep riding, just look for slip the shot. Um, like I said, I think my left bicep went around about eight, seven or eight, nine maybe. But, you know, my adrenaline is like a superpower, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, there's no quitting me. He was probably up there with the biggest punches, him and Mavri. He came at a ferocious pace, he really wanted to win, he left everything kind of thing, but I think I just drained the belief out of him by the end of the fight and I think he knew he was beating the final ball. So anyway, without kind of beating yourself up too much because of your style being light on the feet, always on the move, how draining do you feel that is like your opponent constantly having to move, work and mentally trying to work out your style? Well, he's had 38 wins. He's been a world champion, he's fought four titles, and he's got 33 knockouts, and he's got, what, 30 inside the first six rounds. People get caught in all these knockouts and that. But like I said again, no one has ever made me remotely feel close to not seeing the final bell in any fight, in any sport, and it won't again today. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be the one with the 33 knockouts at the 38. Bam Rodriguez don't hit like him. Martinez don't even hit like him. Don't have the knockout ratio like him. So, you know, you look at me and go, oh, he's only stopped four people. But again, that like, control the rounds. Um, like I said, I thought it was a tiny bit wider, but no problem with them scorecard. All three went to the right person. And I think, you know, when I was winning, 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 then round three is getting closer and closer. The judges are going to be winning. Like it's human nature for the judges to give to my own home of thing. I said what I was going to do, and again, like I have every other single fight. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll start getting my credit. I think, you know, Sheffield Arena was bouncing a bit today. Um, it's not my hometown, it's my adopted hometown. The first time I've ever fought here in my life. And I, I looked around and I got goosebumps, you know. My, my world title win was in front of about 17 people behind closed doors. Um, and then I went to Dubai, I was the away fighter in about 3,000 Filipinos shouting and screaming. And then I, I boxed with him, and again, I was pretty much the away fighter in Dubai, and it was a Pakistani lad with a big movement following over there. So, I had my home come in, it took me free, but I won it again. Um, and that final belt, I could see all the faces, everyone knew that I'd won. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy, man. Coming in with it to do it. So, you mentioned Ivan Rodriguez as well as kind of the top now, the top of your list. Are you confident that the top of your list is deep emotional difference in the soil? Yeah, but there is no promotional differences. Not for me. I had made the fight with Martinez. Um, me joining Pro Bellum was under the impression that when there was a fight that I wanted to make, I had complete um, openness and leeway to do it. They proved that when we all agreed everything, and it was uh, Martinez asking for a million pounds to find me at the 11th hour, and then that fight never happened because the government said no. Um, Bam Rodriguez, he said that he wanted to fight me or Martinez. I don't know, maybe they'll try and keep it in house, but. The difference with me is, any promoter can offer me a fight. Because if I beat one of your boys, you can offer me another fight, and I'll take it. I, will, I want the biggest fights every single time. I can't stress that enough. Genuinely, win, lose, or draw, I'm an entertainer. I want to be a part of the, the events that people care about. That's, that's all I care about. Um, you know, we are literally like WWE characters, I've been saying. We like wrestlers, except we write the script in the ring and then it's up to the, the promoters and the media and to write the narrative. I ain't got no control over that. I thought I won again, easy. That's nine, you know. That's, well, how many world title fights? Well, that's four now. And I've not remotely looked uncomfortable, I don't think. So it might not be a problem which happen any time soon. Obviously, the Lambert Boys, you mentioned in the past, he was successful out in Abu Dhabi recently, a very close fight. What did you make of that? Did that performance make you think that maybe it's a little bit further apart than like this 18 to 2 to 18 months to 2 year period which has been taken previously? Yeah, like, well, I was a good friend of mine. I mean, the moment the end pro um, announcement that he turned pro, we came to Barney for about 4 or 5 weeks. And... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was just like, didn't um, But in all seriousness, um, he's a good friend of mine. And he came and he sparred me for about four weeks, and then the next fight he me for about three, four weeks. Um, and we have great sparring, we have great fights, they are, they are so entertaining. And he's like Alvarado, he's like Camaro, he just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. Um, he came out of that spar saying, he showed him his level a bit, and he knows he's a little bit away from our level. He needs to learn the rounds. Give him the time to learn the rounds. Just because you win an Olympic gold medal over three rounds doesn't mean you can come against the killer for 12 rounds and do it. It's a whole different game. It's like asking a 100 meter sprinter to go and do 10,000 meters. It's two different things. Let him learn. He's free and old. And yeah, people get onto me going, ah, oh, you're saying there's only a mention, you know. But because you're, you're mentioning for all titles already, you're getting him in position to find a top 10, top 15 in the world already. Um, 
time to learn. But I learned from my brother's mistake, you know, getting dangled a carrot of a world title early, snatching it up for much less than he deserved, and getting fred to the walls and the phone stopped ringing after it. I learned from that. And Galal must learn the same. So just follow up from me, obviously you've got goals and points tomorrow night, you could it be here because he's possibly getting ready for his fight. I imagine you'll be there yourself. Like I said, I should be in the corner, I've got my coaching license now. <laughs> um, so you might hear me anger on the Who's going to be with Dublin Boys? Oh, I don't know, we're going to be fighting together. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, just read your thoughts on these five weeks, Casey Benjamin, he's uh, probably best Benjamin. So. Um, I don't disrespect Casey, but you know, when that fight got made, didn't seem like the hardest fight I've ever done. It might be, I might be wrong. I probably haven't researched or looked into him enough, maybe. Grant thinks it's a good fight. Grant thinks it's a hard test, so, you know, I take his, um, his knowledge of boxing very, very seriously. So, yeah, it probably will be a hard night and don't probably even for a good test, but generally, I think Dalton's phenomenal. I think prospect wise, I know he's a British champion now, but a world level prospect wise, I think he's one of the best we have. Genuinely, not because I've trained him, but because I've seen him as a, an 11 year old kid, a mad skinhead with a blind coming around his head. And the first time I ever seen him, I was like, he can fight that fight. And then he went and beat up the wrecking kid that I was there with. And I so he's a great, great fighter, a very good friend of mine. He's a godfather to one of my children. Um, so yeah, he can show like he doesn't How big could a fight with Adam Azim be? Massive, super fight. Um, I do very much rate Adam Azim. Um, Shame about his training for um, But no, in all seriousness, very, very good fighter, uh, very good family. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a fight that will, will be built um, probably for a while time, or not, we'll see it before then. I don't think we need to see it before then, because I think they're both on a, uh, on a crash course to get there. Um, Dalton probably needs, in my eyes, two, maybe three years, but he's in a wait for the kids. Do you know what I mean? He's in a wait where you have to really mature into it, and you have to get the rounds, and you have to prove it, and. and, and Gut check all the way up. I think he's got every ability to. He's got the team to. Um, our, gym, our gym, again, like I said, I give props to her a lot. Our gym is absolutely buzzing. And what Grant Smith has done since I joined the was his first before. He's only pro for a period of time and then gone forward. I think it's phenomenal. Um, yeah. That's it for me. So it's like Richard Schaefer has his high up pounders. Do you believe you're up there? Yeah, maybe I think I need to do a little bit better than that to be talking about pound for pound. But like I said, my left arm stopped really working halfway through the fight. Um, his head was rock hard. I was trying to hit him. I was trying to hurt him a little bit. I was trying to bite his arm rod or tremendously tough. And you know, he was willing to give us absolutely everything there tonight. And you know what I mean? I wasn't willing to give this title. Where do you think you can improve your game? No, I've still got a lot of maturing to do. I mean, I'm only halfway through puberty at the moment. I mean, I'm 26. <laughs> I'm 26, but come on, I look like a 19, 20 year old. Uh, this is my first camp having a nutritionist eating right. I didn't do no weight cut, and I've been saying it. Um, I didn't do no weight cut, no hot baths, no long runs. I've eaten all week, I've eaten all camp, and I just need to keep it going. Normally, I pull the trigger on like, the subways, the dominoes, the takeaways, until the next fight gets announced. This ain't the case no more. I'm going to go there, I'm going to keep eating, I'm going to get bigger, I'm going to get stronger, I'm going to start really developing it. You know, boxing is my life. I'm in such a blessed position and yeah, I can't wait for the future.